Sterling. He'll switch it again towards this near side where De Bruyne will get it on his right boot, out swinging. Stones with the header for Manchester City who get the breakthrough at last. Perfect delivery from Kevin De Bruyne. You can guarantee he'll get an assist. And John Stones with the header for the Blues. Manchester City lead. City 1, Palace 0. Bernardo Silva, left-footed, outswinging delivery from the corner, headed away on the edge of the six-yard box by Crystal Palace. Gundogan will try and battle for the ball again, then shift it, and Curly! Oh, yes! From Ilkay Gundogan, it's brilliant! Edge of the penalty area, shifted it onto his right foot, sails past Guaita into the top right-hand corner, and Manchester City can now look to Aston Villa on Wednesday, knowing a win will take them to the top of the Premier League. The Palace hoodoo's over for the Blues at the Etihad Stadium. He's recovered and, and made a great tackle on Sterling. De Bruyne's corner goes into the head of Ruben Diaz, saved by Guaita, comes back, and John Stones has got a second goal for Manchester City, who are heading second in the Premier League to night two for John Stones can December and January get any better for him at the moment he puts Manchester City 3-0 up against Crystal Palace he can't do anything wrong can he surely if they get a penalty tonight he's going to take it for his hat trick can he undoubtedly can Raheem Sterling top off the night for Manchester City Sterling oh yes he can brilliant from Raheem Sterling top right hand corner forget the wall he went nowhere near then nowhere near Vincente Guaita either Manchester City with a perfect Sunday night performance second in the league with a chance to go top on Wednesday Manchester City 4 Crystal Palace 0 well what can you say what can you say about that now a cool and crisp evening at the Etihad Stadium in East Manchester and that is the full time whistle a 4-0 win for Manchester City Full-time score at the Etihad Stadium, Manchester City 4, Crystal Palace 0.